I took to Instagram and also YouTube to ask you guys what you wanted to see in my Funko Pop collection. I believe this is gonna be volume four at this point, guys. I've had a ton of fun showing off random things around the office and in my collection. So with that being said, let's dive in to question number one. Here we go. SNL fan guy asks, any Rugrats or Baby Pops in my collection? I know I definitely have a couple Rugrat Pops. I'll see what baby ones I have. Let me go check. So let me start off with some Pops that are babies that I know of that I have. We've got Baby Freddy right here, guys. This came from the April Fool's release. Um, I think in 2023, if I'm not mistaken, but this is a solid one. I love the fact that he's holding the little El Diablito or Diablo Wacky Wobbler right there. Maggie Simpson's a pretty solid one. I know I have the Pebbles Pop. For some reason, I can't find it. It must be in a bin somewhere. But uh, Wilma is holding a baby Pebbles right there, so I think that one would count. And then I just brought over two Rugrats Pops, guys. I think I have pretty much the entire collection, but I figured I'd just bring over Tommy. We have probably the most rare version of Tommy. This is an NFT one, guys, limited to 999 pieces. The superhero Tommy and just the original one. So there are some babies for you. Common Funko Pops or Funko Pops that you found for dirt cheap. Okay, I'm interpreting this as Funko Pops that I found for good deals. So I'm gonna show you a few. So me personally, I'm always on the lookout for good deals, guys, whether it's things that I wanna add to my collection or other things that I wanna trade for other stuff. But these right here are some deals that I found throughout the years. If I remember correctly, I think this one's about maybe two years ago or so, I ended up finding the glow in the dark SpongeBob and Patrick. I wanna say both for, it was either 30 or 40 bucks. Either way, it's a fantastic deal. Like I know this SpongeBob's definitely really pricey. Patrick is pretty pricey, not as much as the glow in the dark SpongeBob, but that was a great deal for sure. And then I think last year, I remember finding this one, I believe for only, it was $15, I believe. And this one goes for about a hundred. So that was an awesome deal too. But I want to say my best deal probably comes in the form of the Sesame Street Pops. I bought them in a lot and it was pretty much the entire full collection. And I think it averaged out to be about, I think 13 or 14 bucks a piece for all the different Sesame Street ones. It was even the big ones. I just can't, I just can't fit them in this shelf right here. So that was probably the best one. But if you guys want to score some deals, guys, coming up in the month of July, I'm holding a whatnot auction. If you guys are familiar with the whatnot app, guys, they auction off tons of different stuff. It's a marketplace for anything collectible. You got video games, you got Funko Pops, a little bit of everything. I like to hold monthly auctions on there, guys. And so my next auction is coming up in July and I'm going to be having some of this stuff right here. I'm adding things slowly, but surely to that, a couple of giveaways that I've got right there as well. So the link for that auction will be down below. And if you're a new first time user, you can also get $15 off. That applies to my auction, anything else over on the WhatNot app. So definitely take advantage of that. DC2 Wally K9 wants to see bald Funko Pops. Bald, bald, bald. Well, strap on your sunglasses, folks. We're gonna see some shiny heads. As far as bald pops go, guys, I feel like I had to take these ones out of the box in order to show their, uh, well, their, their shiny heads. I got my homeboy, Arthur. I don't recall him having hair in the show, so I included him in this little list right here. Bane definitely is as bald as a cue ball right over there. Same with my boy, Wallace. Can't recall Kratos ever having hair, except for the beard, I suppose, but on top, yeah, he's, he's looking pretty bald. And this one was kind of a random one, but I would consider Frankenberry to be pretty bald as well. He even kind of has a little bit of a, of a booty head, a butt head. <laughs> I, I don't know. That was just a weird detail that I just noticed, but yeah, here were some uh, bald pops that I found. <laughs> top pops YT wants to see clear figures. Okay. I think this might be a tough one. So this isn't exactly of what I was thinking as far as clear pops. I know that there's one of like bing bong. That's an invisible one that would have been perfect, but here's my interpretation at least of what I had. So King and Kodos both have like space helmets on right there, guys that are clear that you can see through. So I I'm kind of considering that. That. And if we're going on that clear see-through kind of dome kind of thing, Madame Leota definitely has one of those that you can see through right there. The space kook as well, you know, has that little like spaceship helmet or kind of, you know, clear dome on its head. But I think probably the closest thing that I have, even though this isn't the entire figure, is Aang right here. So he's bending some water, I believe. I could be wrong on that. But that part right there, guys, is translucent, is clear. Technically, you can see right through it. Like I said, there could have been better options. These are the only ones that I could really think of that I personally had in my collection. So, you know, I, I think this will have to do. Mr. Wu for U5 asks your biggest, tallest Funko Pops. All right, let me see what I got. So as far as biggest and tallest Funko Pops, guys, my mind went directly to six inch pops. And so I brought out the tape measure, guys, so we can actually measure if these are actually six inches or not. This one's probably closer to five, I would say. If we're going over to Bigfoot, guys, I got this one at uh, Fun Days last 
last year. This one's actually closer to seven inches, so it's pretty tall. I think Lard Lad from The Simpsons, guys, is just under seven inches. He might be a little bit shorter than uh, the Bigfoot right there. And speaking of big pops, guys, I think Big Bird's actually pretty close to six inches. Might be a little bit taller, but I got one that's bigger. And I would say this guy right here is probably the tallest that I have in my collection. Including the ear standing at a whopping, I would say about 10 and a half inches. Tony the Tiger is probably the tallest Funko Pop in my collection by far. And store brand imitation frosted flakes featuring Terry the Tag. Their food. The fourth curator wants to see older pops and the newer molds. Okay, I think we can have some fun with this one. All right, so on the bottom, I've got some older pops for sure, guys. And then on the top is their newer counterparts. So let's start off with the Sonic Pop, guys. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below what you think of these older Sonic Pops. They're definitely a little bit like blocky, a little bit derpy, if that's the right word you want to use. But uh, yeah, not much really detail there, but these are pretty pricey, pretty hard to find. The new one, I would say, does a pretty good job, guys, of kind of capturing the eyes better on the Sonic characters because, you know, there's white behind Knuckles' eyes right there. The overall detail looks, I would say, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit better. If we go to Tails, pretty similar, guys, to the Knuckles as far as the original mold. A little bit lifeless, I would say, but there's something fun about the old ones, I would say. But the new one definitely does very well, guys. The fact that, I mean, I'm sold that it's flocked. Obviously, you know, they didn't do that on the old one, but the fact that it's fuzz, like fuzzy and like furry and stuff, that, that's pretty cool, too. This one, for me, I think both of these are actually pretty darn weird. The original Patrick guys is a little bit unsettling. They gave him a mouth, which I, I don't know. I was kind of 50 50 on that. Obviously he does have a mouth in the show. It just looks kind of wacky to me, but you know, the new one, newer one isn't really much better. The eyes are a little bit bigger. The mouth is bigger. I don't know if that necessarily made it better though. Who are you calling Pinhead? Sorry, you can't really see Carl very well on this one, guys. I guess you can kind of see, you know, the art a little bit. This one is signed by Ed Asner, but I would say the new one and the old one definitely both look great. I do like this new one because, you know, it's got a little bit better detail, but I wouldn't say the old one is that far off, honestly. Mighty Poppies 10, characters that you are happy they made pops of. Okay, let me show you some recent ones that I can think of. So I brought these ones over, guys, because these are some somewhat newer ones that I'm actually pretty excited that they made pops of. So we'll start off right over here, guys. I got this one from C2E2 in Chicago. This is Poochie from The Simpsons. And I love it when Funko makes, you know, pops of random characters, like side characters from shows. I'm a huge fan of The Simpsons and the character of Poochie is just hilarious. He's not in the show for very long, maybe like one or two episodes, but iconic that they made a pop of him and I like it when they do that. Hey kids, always recycle. To the extreme, busted! Banjo Kazooie is definitely a really new one, guys. I picked this up at Box Lunch the other day, and I have a lot of great memories playing this game with my friend over at his house. It is just, I don't know, I never owned a Nintendo 64 growing up myself, but I do remember playing this one a lot. It's cool that they made a pop of him. This one's a little bit older, but it did come out this year, guys. We got Kermit and Constantine. Obviously, this is from, I think, the second Muppets movie, but it's more famous for the meme, the evil Kermit meme, and I think it's cool that they made more Muppets pops. Obviously, I love DreamWorks, Kung Fu Panda stuff, so it's cool that they made another Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Gingy, I forgot he's out of box back there, guys, in my display, but I love the fact that they're making more Shrek pops. That is a 100% a win for me, and you guys can kind of see what I'm into collecting, kind of the cartoon, video game related stuff, but these are definitely W's that they made these. I think these are great. She's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! George underscore 9369 wants to see the Funko sodas that I have in my collection. I think what I want to do is show off maybe my favorite chases I have. I keep a majority of my Funko sodas, guys, up on these shelves, but you notice that there is some gap, so I want to show you some of my favorite chases from my collection. And they would be these guys right here. So the Samurai Jack one is pretty cool, guys. The chase is of him in armor. The normal one, obviously, he doesn't have the mask on or anything like that. So this is a pretty cool chase. The Popeye is pretty solid as well. I think the normal one, he's dressed, you know, in his normal sailor suit. But this one, he has the white suit on and his arm is all like charged up, essentially. It's a cool chase. Hades is a great one too. You would imagine, you know, the normal one is just his normal looking Hades with like the blue flames. But with uh, the chase, he has, he's angry. He's got the red flames on his head. Also got, well, I guess orange flames, but red, red skin. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, the NASA astronaut's pretty cool. The chase is a little bit different. So the 
the original one, he's in like the white astronaut suit. This one, he's in like the orange one. So it's a little bit different. I think this one's awesome. And this one's pretty special too, guys. If you guys didn't know, they actually made a kind of like a three pack in a way of the uh, three caballeros. So the common is of Donald Duck. And then the chases are of Panchito and Jose. I think this is Jose, but I get them mixed up. Anyways, this is one of the variants of the chase that you can get, which I think it's pretty cool that they did that. You can have two different chases, but they're some of my favorites. Okay, this is from YouTube guys and they have a weird username, but they said some things and knickknacks that aren't pops that are different Funko products or anything that aren't the regular pops. All right, let me kind of take you around the office. I've got a couple things I could show you. So random knickknacks and related things, guys, I guess the background would be perfect for this because I've got all sorts of stuff. One of my favorite things that I picked up, guys, I think this was maybe a year or two ago. I ended up getting a Funko sign. This is one of the ones that you would see in like a Hot Topic store up above the Funko display. One of the stores around me went out of business a little bit ago, and I think they sold off a sign to a collector, and then the collector was selling this on like Facebook Marketplace, I think, and I snatched it up because I figured it would make a great piece in the background, and uh, I, I think it looks pretty solid. One of my other favorite Funko items that I have, guys, right here is this Zombie Bart skateboard. This was a, I think it was to New York Comic Con in 2021. I got it off of the website, and I love the Simpsons. The skateboard deck is awesome. Even though I don't skateboard, I do appreciate, you know, skateboard culture. Makes an awesome display piece, guys. I hope that they make more uh, skate decks of the Simpsons. That would be sweet. More Funko skate decks. We could put them in the background and everything, but that's one of my other favorite kind of Funko related items. And this one's kind of random guys, but Kinder sent me a giant Funko Kinder Egg, a Harry Potter Kinder Egg the other day. Well, actually I say the other day, it's probably been a month or so, but uh, it had like a complete set of all the different like uh, little pops and figures that you can get inside of this egg and some other Kinder Eggs. Like this egg is pretty massive and I think it's such a cool like collector's tin. So I figured I would keep it in the collection. So I guess there's three random Funko things, kind of trinket related stuff that I feel are, are pretty awesome. Wazer 4430, sorry if I said that wrong. My wife's Funko Pop collection. All right, let's, let's head on upstairs. We'll show it off. So this is where my wife keeps her collection kind of in her office right here, but you can see that she has a good variety of stuff. She really actually loves Snow White, so a lot of her collection consists of different Snow White Pops with all the different Seven Dwarves and everything. But then just other random things that she really likes that I've found for like Hamilton and different like historical Pops too. She liked watching the Golden Girls a lot growing up. But anyways, I'm gonna go into more depth about this like probably later on, but you get a good feel of what she likes to collect, you know, with different Disney stuff, some historical things, different TV shows that she likes, but that just gives you a quick little glimpse of the things that she collects. And folks, that is going to do it for today's video of showing off my Funko Pop collection. If you'd like to see something in my collection specifically, let me know in the comment section below, guys, and we'll try and show it in the next video. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another, always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Thank you.